My name is uh, Brian Williams. I'm Chair of Medicine at UCL and also a physician at University College London Hospitals. My research is uh, principally focused on high blood pressure. One of my big interests is why in about 100 million people across the world we can't control blood pressure with the conventional drugs that we use and we call that resistant hypertension. These people are at the highest risk. Many people are surprised that high blood pressure today is still the commonest cause of premature death. What we discovered was that many of the people with resistant hypertension appeared to be retaining too much salt in their bodies and we came up with the idea that perhaps repurposing a drug that had been used about 50 years ago uh, might be the ideal treatment for this condition even though it had been forgotten. So we did a lot of studies working with colleagues across the UK to build a study that would allow us to provide a definitive result. And what we demonstrated was a drug called spironolactone, which is a hugely effective treatment for this condition. This now means that many of these patients' blood pressure is now controlled and their risk has been substantially reduced. And it doesn't just lower their blood pressure, it will in turn reduce their risk of heart disease, stroke and premature death. So we have research conducted uh, by us at UCL in partnership with our colleagues across the UK which in the space of two or three years has been translated directly into healthcare and will really transform the treatment and outcomes of about 100 million people affected by this condition across the world. I think the only way you can see innovation moving into the NHS from discovery science is to have a strong partnership between hospitals and universities. And we have a world-class university and probably the leading hospital in the United Kingdom. The two working together are formidable. But increasingly now, we're collaborating with engineers at UCL. We're collaborating with data scientists at UCL, nanotechnologists. All of these disciplines, physical sciences, mathematics, being brought into play because we recognize they're absolutely fundamental to advances in medicine. It's no longer just about drugs. It's about devices, technology, diagnostics, algorithms, all of this improving the efficiency of care. I do a clinic every week in, in the hospital where I see the patients affected by resistant hypertension where they're referred to me because their doctor cannot control their blood pressure. The patient's frustrated because they've tried multiple drugs. It's been remarkable to take a, a simple innovation that we discovered and apply that to patients in my clinic and see the transformation in their treatment happening within weeks. When we do deliver new innovations to patients, it, it isn't just wonderful for the patient and for us actually in delivering that treatment. I think it lifts the whole organization. Everybody wants to be working for an organization that is at the forefront of medical science.